Yeah, I thought we had really bad shot selection. Uh, I didn't think we shared the ball. Um, give Coach Martin and, and his team credit. Um, we didn't cut hard enough in the first half and uh, turned the ball way too much in the first half, especially second half, played a little bit better with a little bit more flow. Uh, but you're not going to win a game when you put an opponent on the foul line on the road 44 times. I mean, it's, you're not, you know, I mean, you're not going to win a game. We could have played the Milwaukee Bucks tonight, and we wouldn't have fouled them 44 times. So we just we got to learn how to defend without fouling, and it starts with being in a defensive stance. The base, he obviously got an incredible role. He got 17, but you know he, he struggled. What, what do you think it is? Yeah, their defense focused on him, and and uh, you know again we just as a group have to have way better shot selection. Reggie Cheney, uh, with his first career double double career high today, did some good things for you offensively. And um, start with the Vanderbilt game has kind of come on. Talk a little bit about his progression and helping your team. Yeah, I thought Reggie played well tonight. I mean, we, you know, when we have our big, big lineup uh, that we've done basically since uh, Isaiah's been out, we struggle to score. We haven't started games very well. Um, there's not as much spacing. And, and if, if Reggie and and Adria are going to play together. We've we've got a defensive rebound more than what we're showing. You know, 52 to 35 on the on the glass is, you know, I mean, 44 free throws and you get annihilated on the backboards and the game goes into overtime. I mean, I just think you know, not just tonight, anytime. I mean, everybody gets to reset. You go back, your jump ball. It's um, I mean, we did, you know, when you have a short roster and then so many guys foul out, but you got you got to you got to bend your knees in order not 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 to commit fouls. Hey, Eric, what did you think of uh, Pinson and how much of a? I mean, thirteen free throws is pretty good. It's good player, good quickness. We couldn't keep him in front of us. Again, thirteen foul shots is a lot. I mean, it's, you know, tonight's the, uh, as far as, you know, co games I've coached, it's, it's uh, you know, whatever. We just got to regroup, try to get ready to play Tennessee. You know, you've had a few players play a lot of minutes, and obviously Isaiah's out. Do you think you guys are kind of wearing down mentally and physically at this point? Or? I don't think so. I mean, you look at, you look at overtime games, I mean, Auburn's pretty good. Tonight, we stunk in the first half. Uh, had a chance to win the game. So, again, the fouls and the defensive rebounding. Coach, what is, what is Jimmy Witt meant to your program since you rejoined? Yeah, I mean, he's just, you know, he's a stabilizer for us. He's a really good defender. He can score for us. Um, he's just a unique player because, you know, he plays that point guard position, but he's Score so well around the rim in mid range. You got a real quick turnaround after the back on the road Tuesday. How tough is that? Kind of, how do you expect you guys to bounce back in Tennessee? I mean, if we don't rebound and, and we commit fouls, we're not going to win. I mean, guys got to guard. You know, you got to guard. You got to guard your assignment. And, um, you know, I mean, I don't know how many and one soft fouls we had, but you can't, you can't come in a game and. A guy scores a basket, and then you lightly foul him, and then it turns into an old-school three-point play. Do you feel like you guys can fix those issues quicker? I mean, all we can do is, as a coach and a coaching staff, try to put a game plan out as best we can and, and uh, see if we can execute it. That's good. Yeah.